guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this vlog tutorial, tayo kung paano mag-book ng biometrics sa VFS Global papuntang Canada. Ituturo ko sa inyo guys yung step-by-step -step procedure para makakuha kayo ng appointment letter sa VFS para sa visa application nyo. Kaya kung ikaw ay may planong pumunta ng Canada, keep watching this video. Ang unang step natin guys, pupunta tayo sa website na to. Ayan, sinulat ko dito yung website para makita nyo. Ano ang kinawa ko? Kinapipaste ko na lang siya. Ayan, nandito na tayo sa website. Dinirect na tayo dyan. Kailangan nyo guys, basahing mabuti kung ano yung mga nasa website. Schedule an appointment for biometric enrollment. Ayan, scroll down ko siya para mapasa nyo din. Actually guys, limay yung choices nyo kung paano kayo magkakaroon ng appointment. By online, by telephone, by email, by web chat, or in person, or yung sinasabi nilang walk-in. But I would recommend to do it online. Bibigyan ko kayo guys ng konting oras to read all of this because I think this information are important. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating online application. Now, let's proceed to online application. Ayan, na-clinic ko na siya. And let's read what are written in this section. Kasi parang importante siya, guys. Kailangan natin basahin. Please click here to schedule an appointment. The link will direct you to the appointment login screen which enables you to schedule an appointment, reschedule an appointment, cancel an appointment, and so on. So, click here. Now, we are here in appointment login. If this is the first time you are using this service, please click on new user. So, kung wala ka pang account, bago ka, click mo yung new user. So, kailangan mong fill in this columns so of your first name, last name, give your valid email address. Guys, make sure your email valid address is correct. Walang kulang kasi dyan ka makaka-receive ng information about VFS and dyan din nila isi-send yung appointment letter nyo. So mostly, this is my weakness. Sometimes, I am not careful and yun, nagkakamali ako mag-type ng email. So, this time, kailangan i-check natin siya because this is very important to us. And yung telephone or mobile number mo, dapat syempre, nauna yung code ng Philippines, which is plus 63 and followed by such number. And for the password, guys, kailangan nyo mag ng strong password. And type this letter. V-V-Y-S-G. And if you are done, pwede mo nang i-click yung submit. And pag na-click na natin siya, guys, ito yung lalabas. Okay or cancel. Of course, okay yung i-click natin. And, tada! Here we go! And babasay natin, guys, yung green na nakasulat. Please click on activation link sent on your email. So, you need now to check your email. So, dyan tayo pupunta. Ayan, klinik ko na yung email and pabasay natin to guys ulit ng mabuti. 
during your own application guys you have enough time to read all of this so hindi ko na siya masyado pang babasahin kung walang tanong pwede na nating i-click yung activate account direct ulit tayo doon guys sa website and you need to enter again your email address your password na ginamit mo nung nag-register ka and type this security letter again and continue meron na akong sariling account and yan welcome na ako ng VFS Global welcome Hazel Pin so this is my account and guys makikita nyo meron kayong 5 choices you can either schedule an appointment reschedule appointment cancel appointment email appointment letter retrieve incomplete appointment tip ko guys para madali kayong makapag activate ng account write down your password para mas ensure because without your correct password, hindi kayo makakapunta or makakadirect in this website to set your appointment. And now, I am going to schedule my appointment. And fill in this online form. Select center. I will choose Manila. Number of applicant, kung mag-isa ka lang, you can choose one. If you are a family or you are three, you can select here in this number, depende kung ilan kayo. And select appointment category, biometric. And if you are agree, you can check this square and continue. Andito na tayo guys, but first, bago tayo mag-proceed, basahin muna natin. Schedule appointment, select center, applicant list. Ayan, note, maximum one applicant can be added for group appointment. So, at what you can see guys, empty pa yung account mo. So, you don't have any information about yourself. So, you need to click add applicant. Kita nyo guys kung kaano ka strict yung VFS, pati internet connection nyo, ito check yung security if it is safe or not. Step 3 na tayo guys, wherein we need to provide some personal information including IRCC number, date of birth, your name, last name, mobile number, and again, email address. But me, uunahin ko guys yung mga information about myself like, yeah. Ayan, date of birth. By the way, nag-auto fill in siya guys. So, ayan na lang yung aking if you fill in and yung IRCC number. Ayan, nahog patient guys kasi nakalimutan ko siyang i-take note and now I need to take a look where is it. By the way guys, you can find your IRCC number in this documents. Ayan, meron ka nito guys because ahead of your visa application, you got this paper coming from Canadian. I forgot the name. <laughs> but guys, meron ka nito. So don't worry. You just need to find the number. The IRCC number. And once you have it, so enter the number here because it's mandatory siya, and then enter or submit your application. This moment, the applicant need to provide personal information. By the way, guys, hindi ko na siya may papakita because this is a privacy. And pero hindi ako mahirapan ba mag-edit? But I know you can do it, guys. Kasi all the information nasa sa inyo na like travel information, passport number, like that. Just follow the instructions, guys. Until pwede ka na mag-set ng appointment date. So now I am done setting my schedule for my biometric and I will click confirm and ito yung magpa-pop up. Ayan, cancel or okay. So click okay and the VFS will going to confirm your schedule. So ito na siya guys, appointment confirmation. 
and you need to check your email again. So, doon is send ni VFS yung appointment letter mo, guys. So, by the way, ito na yung itsura niya. Ito na siya, guys. I-download mo siya and ipiprint mo because you have to bring this appointment letter sa VFS during your appointment schedule. Without this, hindi ka pwede pumasok ng VFS. Kailangan nyo din guys mag-print ng consent letter coming from the VFS. Madali lang siya guys sanapin. Pwede nyo siyang i-download sa Google and then fill up nyo to guys. This one, ayan, name, address, telephone number and so on. And then ipiprint nyo siya guys kasi kailangan nyo siyang ipasa together with your documents during your appointment date. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't like to subscribe if you like this video. And para ma-notify kayo if I have new video about visa application, traveling. Guys, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel.